So I love this definition. It's by Richard Huntington. It's a revelation that shows you the world in a new way. And so an example of that, this was one when I was consulting to a competitor to Roomba, we got this review and it was amazing. It was like Roomba is like your drunk roommate cleaning. You look at a Roomba and it's kind of just going in that really illogical pattern around your room. So that's a great example of an insight because we usually think of Roomba as this robot, really smart, very methodical. But but really, when we observe it, it actually isn't. It's, it's more like the drunk roommate cleaning. It's very erratic. They have to be true. You can't just make it up. If, you know, Roomba wasn't erratic, we wouldn't be saying that. That just wouldn't be true. So it has to be a truth. It's got to be tailored. So it's personalized to an audience. So the interesting thing about insights is that once you hear it, it kind of disappears. Once you know that insight, it's no longer there. And that's that final point, which is temporary. So a great example of this is if we all remember, or most people remember the most interesting man in the world, it was the Dos Equis campaign. Now in 2006, they worked off the insight, which was people value experiences over products. If you're like me, there's probably a collective groan from the 1,900 strategists on this of like, oh my God, that's in every brief and that's not an insight. Like everyone knows that. You know, the interesting thing is it was a truth. And for a time, for a tailored audience, that was something, a bit of a revelation. People hadn't thought like that. But now with time, we realize that once it's been said multiple times, times, time and time again, it loses its, its value. It's how the rest of the world sees it. Why would that be important to advertising? And the reason reason it is important to advertising is two things. In advertising, we want to be remembered. And then we either want people to think differently about us. If we're a new brand, we kind of want to be remembered. No one's looking for advertising. No one's going out of their way to, hey, I just want to watch some ads today. We're fighting for attention. So we need something that kind of trips people up, that gets them to pay attention. And so that's what insights do. They help us pay attention. And when there's 6,000 ads pummeling us every day, we try to block them out. Anything that we see as a pattern, we kind of look past that. And what insights do is that they pierce our kind of subconscious. They go, huh, wait, something's not right here. This isn't how everything else works.